There's been a lot of concern lately about what does the Microsoft's decision to end support for Windows XP really mean? Um, is it something that's going to drastically affect businesses? Is it the end of the world? Is the apocalypse here? Uh, none of that is really what's going on. Traditionally, Microsoft monitors all their software. And as vulnerabilities are discovered and hackers are trying to do different things, Microsoft releases patches and updates to plug in the holes and to make the users uh, safe. Also, Microsoft doesn't support everything forever. I can still remember years ago when they ended support for Windows 2000. Uh, and before that, Windows 98, and before that, Windows 95. Things come and things go, and so does the support for these things. It was years ago that Microsoft made it very clear that they would stop support for Windows XP, and that's what's happened. As of April 8th, 2014, Microsoft will no longer be releasing patches and updates to fill vulnerabilities for Windows XP. Will Windows XP continue to work? Certainly. It'll still run uh, on the morning of April 9th just the way it did prior. But Microsoft will not release any more patches. What this means for the user is you have a couple options. You can do nothing, which means you could continue running that software and using it as you always have. You will be at, it at greater vulnerability because the hackers are out there salivating knowing that Microsoft is not going to be doing patches and uh, they're looking forward to being able to hack these machines because there's a lot of computers out there running Windows XP. Another op uh, option is to upgrade the operating system on the existing hardware you have today that's running Windows XP. That's a viable option, but often the cost of buying the new operating system paying somebody to back up your old data, format the drive, install a new operating system, and then put all your data back on that machine, that can be almost as costly as buying a whole new machine. Your third option is, as I suggested before, buy a whole new machine. Uh, if you do that, you're going to get the latest and greatest hardware. Uh, you're going to get a later, uh, much more new operating system, and you can transfer the programs and data that you need to use. But those are really your three options. Again, the world is not ending. Uh, there's newer operating systems that's, that, have, that have come out since Windows XP. They work great. Uh, you should look at what your options are. And if necessary, feel free to give us a call and I'll chat with you.